Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Editorial. I'm happy to be back on this show and this podcast. And we're finally back on the air. After almost a few days of hiatus because of our break. And yes, we're finally back on the air, ladies and gentlemen. And First of all, thank you also for um, for taking this time to watch this re- our return of our podcast for this day, Editorial. Today is Wednesday, the 2nd of February, 2022. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and together with me is Sir Mark Betita. Sir Mark, opening remarks, please. Your mic, please. Good evening po sa ating lahat uh, at sana po nasa mabuti po tayong kalagayan and uh, happy happy Wednesday po sa ating lahat and keep safe, God bless at wag po sana matigas ang ulo yun po, thank you po thank you very much and also we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inco Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel we shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back with our af- with our commercials. We'll see you again after our commercials. Now this.
Matapang bakit tayo, ang tropa hindi nang iiwan. Ang sengas isang instrumento, ilang beses matumba, tayo huling baba. Luman ang ating pinagalit, tayo ay muntik. Welcome back to Editorial. This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we will discuss to you about Autism Spectrum Disorder. So when we say Autism Spectrum Disorder, what is Autism? What are the causes? What are the risk factors? What are the complications? What are the ways that social communication and interaction are involved? What are the patterns of behavior and how can we prevent autism? And it's because, as you may know, last week, we celebrate the National Autism Consciousness Week. So without further ado, here now is our topic for this day, Autism Spectrum Disorder. Okay, next slide please, Sir Mark. So, let us discuss what autism is. So, what is autism, ladies and gentlemen? Autism is a condition that is related to the development of a brain that impacts how a person perceives and socializes with others. It causes problems 
in interaction and communication with other people. This disorder, ladies and gentlemen, also includes limited and repetitive patterns of behavior. And the term spectrum refers to the range of symptoms and severity. It includes conditions that are previously considered separate autism like Asperger syndrome, childhood disintegrative disorder, and an unspecified form of pervasive developmental disorder. Some people still use the term Asperger syndrome, which is thought to be mild and of this disorder. It begins in early childhood and causes problems functioning in our society, in school and in the workplace, for example. Children show symptoms of autism within the first year, and they go through a period of regression when they develop the symptoms of autism spectrum disorder. While there is no cure, ladies and gentlemen, intensive early treatment can make a big difference in the lives of many children. Next slide, please. So what are the causes of autism? It's the causes of autism are caused by these factors. It has no single known cause. There are probably many causes, and genetics and the environment may play a role. In genetics, ladies and gentlemen, several different genes appear to be involved in autism spectrum disorder. For some children, it can be associated with a genetic disorder, such as Rett syndrome. For other children, genetic changes may increase the risk of autism spectrum disorder. Still, other genes may affect the development of the brain or the way the brain cells communicate, or they may determine the severity of symptoms. It can be inherited, but others occur spontaneously. In the case of environmental factors, researchers are exploring whether factors such as viral infections, medications or complications during pregnancy, or air pollutants play a role in the triggering of this disorder, which is what we call as autism spectrum disorder. Next slide, please. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what are the risk factors of autism spectrum disorder? Well, the number of children diagnosed with this disorder is rising. It's still unclear whether this is due to better detection and reporting or a real increase in the number of cases or both. It affects children of all races and nationalities. These may include the following. Next slide, please. Based on the risk factors, ladies and gentlemen, it is based on the following. Boys are four times more likely to develop autism than girls. It is the sex or the gender. Family history, meaning families have one child with autism spectrum disorder. They have an increased risk of having another child with the same disorder. It is not uncommon for parents or relatives of, or a child of a child with autism spectrum disorder to have minor problems with social or communication skills themselves to e or to engage in certain behaviors typical of a disorder. Children with certain medical conditions, ladies and gentlemen, have higher than normal risk of autism. Examples include fragile X syndrome, tuberous sclerosis, and Rett syndrome. Fragile X syndrome, ladies and gentlemen, is an inherited disorder that causes intellectual problems. Tuberous sclerosis is a condition in which benign tumors develop in the brain. And Rett syndrome is a genetic condition occurring almost exclusively for girls, which causes slowing of head growth, intellectual disability, and the loss of purposeful hand use. Extremely preterm babies may have a greater risk of autism. The age of the parents, because there may be a connection between children born to older parents and autism spectrum disorder. More research is necessary to establish this link. Next slide, please, Sir Mark. 
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what are the complications of autism spectrum disorder? It can lead to the following. Problems in school, employment problems, inability to live independently, social isolation, stress in the family, and being bullied and victimization. Next slide, please. So, next slide, please. Okay, so what are the symptoms of autism? Some children show signs of autism in early infancy. The reduction of eye contact, the lack of response to their name or indifference, and also to lose language skills. They are likely to have a unique pattern of behavior and a level of severity. Low functioning to high functioning frequency is involved. Some children with autism have difficulty in learning. They have some signs of lower than normal intelligence, ladies and gentlemen. Other children with the same with this disorder have normal to high intelligence. They learn quickly, yet they have trouble communicating and applying what they know in everyday life and adjusting in social situations. So, ladies and gentlemen, based on the Symptoms of autism spectrum disorder, ladies and gentlemen, some of the children show signs of autism in infancy, which led to the reduction of how they contact themselves with other people, like their eye contact, lack of response, difficulty learning, and to be aggressive or lose language skills. Next slide, please. So, ladies and gentlemen, because of the unique mixture of symptoms in every child, it can be more severe. Severe. It can be sometimes be difficult to determine. It's based on the level of disabilities and how they impact the ability to function. The common signs shown by people who have autism spectrum disorder are the following. Next slide, please. Because of the unique mixture of symptoms in each child, it can be more severe. Based on the level of impairments or disabilities, how they can impact. And here are the signs as well, ladies and gentlemen. In the next slide, ladies and gentlemen, what are the social communication and interaction? A child or adult or a youth with autism spectrum disorder may have problems with social interaction and communication skills, including fail to respond his or her name, resist cuddling and holding, poor eye contact, lack of facial expression, does not speak or delayed speech or loses previous ability to say words, and can start a conversation or to keep one going. Next slide, please. Speaks with an abnormal tone or rhythm. Repeats words or phrases verbatim. Does not appear to understand simple questions or directions. Does not express emotions or feelings and appears unaware of others' feelings. Does not point at or bring objects to share interest. Inappropriately approaches a social interaction by being passive, aggressive, or disruptive. Difficulty recognizing nonverbal cues, like interpreting other people's facial expressions, body postures, or tone of voice. Next slide, please. So, ladies and gentlemen, based on the patterns of behavior, a child or adult with autism spectrum disorder may have limited repetitive patterns of behavior including repetitive movements such as rocking, spinning, or hand flapping, performs activities that could cause self-harm like biting or head banging, develops specific routines or rituals, and becomes disturbed, problems with coordinations or has odd, or has odd movement patterns such as clumsiness and odd, stiff, or exaggerated body language, is fascinated 
with with the details of any object such as spinning wheels of a toy car but he doesn't he or she doesn't understand the purpose of the object next slide please is unusually sensitive to light does not engage in imitative or make me play fixates on an object or activity with abnormal intensity or focus has specific food preferences such as with a such as eating only a few foods or refusing foods with a certain texture. Next slide, please. So as they become more, more, and more mature, ladies and gentlemen, some children with autism become more engaged with others and show fewer disturbances in behavior. Some, usually those Okay, so, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, based on this slide, usually those with the least severe problems may lead to normal or near normal lives. They can continue to have difficulty with language or social skills in the teen years. Can bring worse behavioral and emotional problems. Next slide, please. So my question is, when to see a doctor? Babies develop at their own pace. Don't follow the exact timelines found in some parenting books. Children with autism spectrum disorder usually show signs of delayed development before the age of two. If you have any concerns with your child's development or suspect that your child may have autism, speak with your doctor and the and it can also be linked with other developmental disorders. The symptoms associated with this, with this disorder can also be linked. Signs can often appear in early development where there are obvious delays in language skills and social interactions. Your doctor may recommend developmental tests to identify if the child has delays in cognitive, language, and social skills. If your child, next slide please. Does not respond with a smile or happy expression. Does not mimic sounds or facial expressions. Does not babble or coo. Does not gesture such as a point or a wave. Does not say single words. Does not play, play, does not play make believe or pretend. Does not say two word phrases and lose social skills and language skills. Next slide, please. So, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest controversies in autism spectrum disorder is that centers whether a link exists between the disorder and the childhood vaccines. Despite researches from experts, including doctors, no reliable study has shown a link between this, the disorder and any vaccines. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, the original study that ignited the debate years ago has been retracted due to poor design and questionable research methods. Avoiding childhood vaccinations can place your child and others in danger of spreading diseases such as pertussis, measles, or mumps. Next slide, please. So what is the prevention? There is no way to cure or to prevent autism, but there are treatment options. Early diagnosis and intervention is helpful and it can improve the behavior, skills, and language development. However, ladies and gentlemen, intervention is helpful at any age. Though children usually don't outgrow autism spectrum disorder symptoms, they may learn. To function well. Next slide, please. Okay, so autism spectrum disorder, ladies and gentlemen, is a condition that is related to brain development that impacts how a person perceives and socializes with others, causing problems in social interaction and communication. This disorder includes limited and repetitive patterns of behavior. The term spectrum in autism spectrum disorder refers to the wide range of symptoms and severity. 
Autism spectrum disorder is a lifelong disorder, typically appearing in late infancy or early childhood. It is a developmental disability characterized by social and communication deficits that impede optimal functioning. According to Autism Society Philippines, at least 1.2 million Filipinos have been diagnosed with autism. So ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we're discussing this topic for this day is because last week, we celebrated the National Autism Consciousness Week. So this event, in relation to this topic, is about spreading awareness. That's why according to the four A's of autism and base of and based of our overall summary of our topic for this day, ladies and gentlemen, autism spectrum disorder is a complex neurobehavioral condition that includes problems in social interaction, language barriers, and communication skills that is combined with rigid and recurring behaviors. The symptoms are the intense focus on one item, unresponsiveness, lack of understanding social cues, repetitive movements, and self-abusive behavior. The four A's to the autism are awareness, acceptance, accommodation, and adaptation or appreciation. That's why we have two events related to spreading awareness in terms of autism spectrum disorder. First, we have the National Autism Consciousness Week that happens every January in compliance with a proclamation signed by former President Fidel Ramos. And of course, April 2 every year, we celebrate World Autism Awareness Day, which is created by the United Nations through the, the Emir of Qatar, ladies and gentlemen. And so, we, so, Sir Mark, question. Why do we need to celebrate the National Autism Consciousness Week and World Autism Awareness Day? Uh, para po, ano, para po malaman po nila na kasala rin po sila sa lipunan at nabibilang po sila sa atin para po hindi po sila na de-deprive sa kanilang karapatan. Yun po. Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we celebrate the, these two events is because we need to show awareness for autism spectrum disorder in all the PWD sectors not only in our country, but also throughout the world as well. As we close our topic for this day, would, as we overall summarize our topic, ladies and gentlemen, autism for me, is that autism awareness and autism acceptance come from two very different mindsets. Awareness is easy, while acceptance and appreciation demand concerned work. That's why we need to make a shift from awareness to acceptance, appreciation, inclusion, and empowerment. As I said earlier, the four A's to autism are awareness, acceptance, accommodation, and appreciation. We'll be back with our two important parts of our show for this day. We'll be back after our commercial. Now this. Para sa aking pamilya Para sa aking kapwa 
at para sa bayan. Kahit mahirap, kahit masakit, mahal ko kayong lahat. Kahit anong mangyari, ikaw, ako, tayo. Ating isisigaw sa Inklusibong may tatak Ang at buhay Okay, welcome back to editorial episode for this day. So, our next part of our show is this. Let's have Sinoka know your candidates in the 2022 national elections. So, let us have our first senatorial candidate for this episode for this day. Next slide, please. This one. Who is this? That's Guillermo Eliasar. He is running for senator at the 2022 Philippine Senate elections. But before he ran for senator, he used to be a law enforcement officer or a police officer. He is a graduate of the Philippine Military Academy Batch Hinirang in 1987. He is the former district director of the Quezon City Police District from 2016 to 2018. He is the former regional director of PNP Police Regional Office 4A Calabarzon from April 18 to June 1, 2018. He is the former regional director of the National Capital Region Police Office from 2018 to 2019. He is the former deputy chief of operations of the Philippine National Police from January 20, 2020 to September 2, 2020. He is the former commander of the Joint Task Force COVID-19 Shield from March 16, the start of the Enhanced Community Quarantine and the Community Quarantine and Stringent Social Distancing Measures in NCR up to the 22nd of November 2020. He is the former Deputy Chief of Administration of the Philippine National Police from September 2, 2020 to May 8, 2021. He is the former chief of the Philippine National Police from May 8, 2021 to November 13, 2021. And also, uh, Guillermo Eliasar, based on the ballot, is marked on number, based on the ballot, for the 2022 national and local elections, uh, Guillermo Eliasar is number 23 in the ballot under Senator, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Next slide, please. So we're done already knowing your candidates in the elections for this year. Now let us move on to some of our very important announcements. So first announcement, first slide please. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we have some products for sale at our Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. So the products that we are selling are our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts and our One Inclusion Nation tote bags. So for our t-shirts, it's 275 pesos for all sizes. And also for our tote bags, 150 to 200 pesos with a size of medium and large and available in the colors of white and black. And for our t-shirts, red, black, blue, white, and yellow. So how can you order? Well, first of all, we'll be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. I repeat, 
payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash and we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express and LBC as well. Next slide, please. So, the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under alert level 5, but it will continue to serve in areas under alert level 1, 2, 3, and 4 only. 12 midnight to 11.59 p.m. is our operating hours. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Next slide, please. So, ladies and gentlemen, we at Hands in Inclusion needs your help. We have already been struggling with our financial problems in our organization. So regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. It will be appreciated for you guys to donate to our organization as early as now. How can you do this? Scan and donate using GCash on this QR code that is flashed on your screen. You will also see this in one of our posts in our Facebook and Instagram pages of this organization. You will also use this in one of the payment methods in our online shop as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please now. Please continue to help Hansen Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. And also for, for our funds in our organization. We are aiming to raise funds in our organization. And of course, we will also use this as well in order for us to donate to our organization in order for us to show that we are preparing ourselves for the formality of this organization. The financial aid of the members due to the effects of this trying time. And of course, our funds as well. So guys, for those who did this thank you very much and for your expertise generosity and for your support to our organization in advance and for those who did you'll be glad you did next slide please okay we have some remaining some events coming up for the month of february in best buddies philippines so this saturday february 5 2022 at 4 p.m we'll be celebrating the chinese new year event with the with Best Buddies Philippines British School Manila Chapter. We'll be having Valentine's Day celebration at 4 p.m. on February 12 with the Best Buddies Philippines Citizens Chapter. And our host will be Uh, other side, please. With teacher Jeline. Uh, next slide. Balik po sa calendar, please, Sir Mark. Okay. For our Valentine's Day with BBP citizens, we'll be having our teacher Ray Mark Badillo and teacher Jeline will teach us how to make Valentine's Day gifts and cards. We'll be having Wellness Wednesday with Coach Pepper on February 16th between Best Buddies Philippines and BFIT Active Buddies at 3 p.m. On February 19, we'll be having Rock Painting. And then on February 26, we'll be making Sundays or Ice Cream Social. So if you want to join these events for the month of February, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram Send them a message and they will send you the registration form and the link as well. For those who are registering for the BBP Saturday series, there is a requirement that you have to share the BBP Saturday series Facebook Live. How? Share the live. Can we make sure that the post is set to public? And take a screenshot once posted. Click Add File. Click Select Files from your device. Click Photo Library, select the screenshot, then click Add, and lastly, be sure to click Upload. Once it's successfully uploaded, you're ready to hit Submit, and the Zoom link for the Saturday series will be provided. 
and invest with these Philippines. Make a friend. Be a friend. Next slide, please. We urge everyone to continue supporting for Project Sold Out. If you want to check this out, please check the Special Achievers Facebook page as well. This is a joint between Hirai Gallery, Special Achievers Philippines, Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hands in Inclusion, Little Hands ISCO with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Togon Ateneo, the UP Collegic Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong PH. Next slide, please. So if you're feeling hungry, you may want to order some of the foods from the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant and the Kuya Korea Restaurant. First, for the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant, for our menu, all-day breakfast, tapa sobra, chicken tocino, corned beef brisket, Homemade spam and beef salpicao. Prices are ranged between solo to large and are the sizes and prices are ranged between 265 pesos to 1,450 pesos. Next slide, please. For our rice trays, we have beef bulgogi, beef shawarma, beef udon, pork crackling bits, pork belly bird ends, charred chicken, and boneless fried chicken. Prices are ranged between 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos and prices are ranged between solo to large. Next slide, please. For our buns, we have the fried chicken sandwiches, food pro sandwich, corned beef sandwich, and chick chicken tocino sandwich. Prices are, size are ranged between regular, large, solo, and box of fours. And prices are ranged between 320 pesos to 1,540 pesos. Next slide, please. For the pasta, we have the mac and cheese and penne and gorgonzola. Prices are ranged between 290 pesos to 1,350 pesos and sizes are ranged between solo to large. Next slide, please. So if you want to order from the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant, here are the ways that you can order. First, head over to the Sobra Comfort Food website. Select the dishes you want to order. Choose between pick up or delivery. Be conveniently through any of the safe integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. Please check your updates via text or your email. Next slide, please. For the Kuya Korea restaurant, the menus are bibimbap, beef bulgogi, pork samgyup, and K-pop chicken rice bowls. Prices are ranged between 195 to 220 pesos. For the chicken, boneless popcorn chicken. Prices are ranged between half to whole. For the sizes and prices are ranged between 235 to 435 pesos. The flavors of gochu, ganjang, chicken, and k buffalo. If you want to order there, please check the Kuya Korea website as well. Next slide, please. Follow Hands in Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH, Inclorajo, Inclu Sports, Inclunihan, and the online shop. Instagram, Hands in Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and also subscribe to the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. Before we go over to our greetings, if you have any problem with your computer or laptop, you can message Sir Mark Betita so that he can fix this for you. Computer repair service as well, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any concerns or problems with your computer, please message Sir Mark Betita so that he will be happy to help you for your problems in your computer okay next slide please it's not the time for our greetings uh, to maricel aspre benjamin molina and mona visperas good evening to you and thank you for watching and uh, to miss uh to 
Drop of EWD Group of Sir Mark Betita, thank you as well. Also, I would like to say uh, to those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also, I would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. To my family, to Hands in Intuition Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benid, and to other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. To my high school and college friends, good evening as well. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood. But if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching our show on Into Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on our Anthony Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. Next slide, please. Before we end our show for this day, I would like to share with you our quote for the day. From Naoki Higashida. From the reason I jump. Next slide, please. Everybody has a heart that can be touched by something. So that's why we need ways on how to promote on, on autism spectrum disorder. The reason why we discuss this because we celebrate last week, the National Autism Consciousness Week. So before I go uh, for this episode, before we wrap up this episode, I would like to thank all PWD organizations, especially Hands in Inclusion Philippines, led by Roylan Marlang, to Best Buddies Philippines, to Miss Michelle Aventajado, and to all PWD organizations for helping me promote my advocacy for persons with autism in our country. And also for giving me this opportunity to further inclusion and to promote my advocacy to all. And with that, I would like to appeal everyone to unite for persons with disabilities, not only in our country, but also throughout the world and to wish to inspire and to help other people of all abilities, regardless of our nationality, gender, and faith, and to fulfill my mission to give back to the people who supported me and to always made me feel included. Okay, and we're all in this together. Okay. That's a wrap for our show, Editorial, for Wednesday, February 2, 2022. I'll be back again tomorrow at the same time, 5.30 p.m. for our The Inclusive Report Thursday edition. Next slide, please. So on behalf of Inclorajo and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and together with me is Sir Mark Betita, saying, may the Almighty God bless us all. May awa ang Diyos, makakaraos po tayo. Sama-sama ta, sama tayong lalaban para sa pangarap, pamilya, at bayan hanggang sa ating tatak para sa One Inclusion Nation. Ubi, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat at pagpala inawa tayo ng Diyos na po ang may kapat. May the mighty God bless us all. Filipinas, God first. H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow. And have a blessed evening to all. And bye for now. Bye-bye. Papa, tapos na po.
Pwede na pong i-sponsor. 